Hello, 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 goddesses, whether you are a goddess or a god, hello, and welcome to the Power of She Masterclass. So I am re-recording this um, because you're going to get this in two parts. This is part one, which is powerful within itself, where we go over what is feminine energy, what is masculine energy. And the reason that I'm doing this is because during the actual live masterclass, there were some issues. I accidentally forgot to press record until like halfway through after we had already went over quite a few different things. And so I want to redo this so you can get the full experience. Make sure to watch part two as well, though, because it's just as important. There's a lot in there, a lot that you can start doing today to start embracing your inner feminine, to be aligned, to get aligned, all of the good stuff. So Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> I am going to share with you my screen. Let me make sure. Yes, okay, I'm recording. Just wanted to get that out of the way, make sure. So this is the Power of She Masterclass. She, the conduit to the soul, the key to source, intro to feminine energetics and soul alignment. Juicy stuff. Today, this is the menu. This is what we're going to be going over today. We're going to be going over my shift, the intro to balanced feminine energy and why it's important, the unbalanced feminine. And that's what we're going to be going over this in this first half in part one. The second half, we go over the rest of this. And yeah, so definitely stay tuned for part two. So part one, you're here for a reason. So tune the fuck in. Uh, I really believe that if you were drawn here, it's your soul. You know, it is your soul ready to shift. It's ready to stop the excuses. It's ready to get into your full power. You are ready to shift like never before in your life. And to start listening to yourself, to get back in touch with your inner world. You are ready for soul alignment. You are on the edge of something huge. You are guided here for a reason. Definitely. The energy that I put into this like is so powerful and so magical that I really truly believe that every single one of you that are watching this, that we're guided here for this, we're here for a reason or are here for a reason. So what is alignment? You're gonna hear me talk about alignment a lot in this masterclass. So alignment basically is your soul, your emotions, your body and actions and mind all being on the same effing page. And this is very fucking important. In this masterclass, I'm taking you on a journey. I am provoking you to step into your inner power. I'm speaking to your soul, the you beyond this reality, beyond your current fears, beyond your circumstances. I'm speaking to the timeless being that you are. I'm speaking to your energy, okay? The logical mind cannot understand the feminine. It's been trying to for centuries. And the reason that I say that is because it can't. The logical mind... Logic in itself is very masculine. Feminine is not logic. It doesn't quite make sense to people. It looks backwards, weird. It's hard to trust because we live in a, a lot of us live in an unbalanced masculine energy to begin with, where we really want to focus on the external world instead of our internal world. And so the, just like science has been trying to understand energy and divinity and, you know, all of these unknown mysterious things for so long, but still isn't quite there, right? It's like the feminine is very unknown. It's wild. It's chaotic. It's the unseen. And so to tap into the feminine, we have to tap into the unseen. We have to tap into the parts of us that are unseen, that we don't, you know, always, understand where that can be hard to trust because it's new and we don't really know how all the time, especially with feminine energy. Feminine energy is, is very mysterious in a lot of ways. And so, so before we start, I just want to take a second. I want us all to get on the same frequency here. So let's tune all the way in. We're tuning into our inner worlds, which is our feminine energy. I want you to close your eyes and take some very deep breaths with me. So one, I want you to breathe all the way down to your lower abdomen, your lower back, your tailbone, like your, your love making areas, you know, like I want you to breathe all the way down there. And I want you to slow down. I want you to soften. I want you to just really soften into your body. What does that feel like? What does that look like? I want you to really start feeling your body, start feeling your energy and just keep 
breathing deeply, relax, just relax all the way into your body. And as you keep breathing, I want you to access the part of you in your heart space where you're safe, where you're okay, where no matter what, you're always going to be okay. I want you to just keep leaning back into your body. Just keep tuning into your breathing, tune into your energy flowing through your body. Become so present, become so in tune with your internal world and just keep softening and softening and softening. Keep breathing and breathing and breathing deeply, slowly. There's no rush. You know, a lot of the times in the world we harden, we are stiff, we are, you know, tensed up because we're an unbalanced masculine energy. That's unbalanced masculine energy and where we're not listening to our feminine. And so become so in tune with your internal world. Focus on the energy inside of you. Truly focus with everything you have on your energy. What does it feel like? Does it feel like waves crashing through your body? Do you have certain parts of you that feel warmer or more hot than others? Do you feel goosebumps on your skin? Is your hair rising? All of those are signs of energy moving through the body. Any movements that we're feeling through the body is our energy. And it flows through us at all times. Now I want you to focus on this energy and focus on your power. Put all of your focus on your power. Feel it running through you. Just feel it crashing through you. Feel it all just making up exactly who you are in this moment. Remember, you're okay. You're safe here. You're always safe here. This is your power. There is not one single fucking thing on the face of this planet that you cannot do with this energy. So... You can open your eyes now if you would like and start kind of coming back to the master class, start kind of coming back to the, this recording. So now we're going to talk about my shift, how this all started, what the fuck happened. So <laughs> I've come across these things before, but I never quite had all the puzzle pieces where I didn't quite integrate them all the way into my experience, into my life, into my being. And so several months ago, it was like I hit a fast track. It was like I found the ways of the feminine completely. I got all the missing puzzle pieces and my life just completely took off. Like never before shifts that I've like ever experienced in my life. Shifts in consciousness, shifts in states of being, shifts in my energy, shifts in the universe. Like everything was changing so rapidly in, in my life. And this eventually turned into the ways of the goddess, which is a completely balanced and aligned woman in her power with both her feminine and masculine energy. So what this looked like for me was really taking a step back, focusing on my internal world, focusing on receiving, focusing on all of the feminine things, letting things be unexplainable, letting things be exactly how they were and really going off my energy. Sorry, my like, <laughs> my bangs are like all crazy, but um, I just really allowed myself to flow, to receive, to, you know, do whatever I felt I needed to do. And I took a step back from doing and achieving and acting and all of the masculine things. Right. And I took a step back from that and I went really, really inward for like a few months. And I was kind of in student mode where I was just learning. I was really just going in and in and in and seeing how far into myself I could go. And next thing I know, things started changing rapidly. My relationships started getting better. My friendships started getting better. My work started getting better. I started changing. I was surprising myself. I, I started getting intuitive downloads and channeling stuff like all the time, every single day, right? like all the fucking time. It wasn't just like here and there or when I'm doing readings, it's like all the fucking time, right? And I started getting crazy out of this world synchronicities, like 
channeling something or feeling called from my soul to create a course and then looking at the clock and it's 11 11 and then seeing a butterfly and then someone walking in and saying the exact thing that I just had in my mind and like just all of this crazy stuff that was like out of this world miraculous started happening and it was beautiful my internal world expanded I learned to listen I learned to trust I learned to just trust and then I the universe literally put a few people in my way that knew exactly what I was experiencing and taught it. And so I was very drawn energetically. Like I could just feel the energy and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to sign up for this. I have to, I have to do it. But it was like thousands of dollars. And I was like, holy shit. I don't know if I can do all that. Like, that's a lot. I've never spent that much on a course, but these are like the top people teaching these things and, you know, all of that. And so I was like, okay, Eventually I bit the bullet and I've spent over two grand invested on myself to keep my journey going and to learn whatever else I needed to learn. I was already experiencing all these things, but I just, I didn't understand exactly what it all was yet. I had started kind of getting hints of the feminine, but I wasn't exactly all the way 100% sure yet. And so I got these courses, I invested on myself, which felt like a out of this world fucking decision. And it rocked me to my core. It changed things so rapidly, so quickly, like things just started moving so quick. And it was because it was an alignment. My soul told me to do it. I started making the money back like very fucking quickly and even more. Because not only did I invest in this thing, but I was following my callings. Hey, the cosmic awakening portal, do that. I know it's last minute, but who fucking cares? Like my soul's saying to do it. So I should probably fucking do it. Trust that. Do that. Boom. Make all, make all my money back for one payment of the course. Boom. Clients are booking with me. Boom. Oh my gosh. I have another idea for a course. Like just all of these things were just fucking happening and flowing like effortlessly. And I'm like, how is this? And I just kept learning and growing and expanding and going inward. But then I also started noticing massive quantum shifts, not only in my own energy and my own expansion and my own manifestation, because I invested not just with that money in those courses, but I also invested with a decision that led to such a massive change for me an aligned decision that opened the doors to all of this. And then like a month later came the courses and then like, you know, all the things came, but when you make that line in the sand for yourself, things start moving fucking quickly. It's like, you know, that investment shot me off even more right? The first decision I made that was like, okay, I'm basically, it was like, I'm done fucking around. Like I'm getting so back into my spirituality and getting back into healing and getting back into myself and I'm going to learn new things. And that's how it's going to go. And the universe was like, welcome back. And just put everything that I needed right in front of me. And it was all great. And it was amazing. And then after that though, things started expanding rapidly, like on a quantum level, because I was investing from a place of power. I was making decisions from a place of power and was making decisions from the person that I was going to be by the end of the the decision, if that makes sense. So like the investment, for example, I was making that investment from the place of who I will be on the other side of those courses and those investments. And it worked and it keeps working. But there was also with all of these massive quantum shifts, there was also these other shifts that were happening with fears and with really heavy stuff that I had been avoiding and not facing for a very long time, like years, years and years and years. And finally, those were coming up. I was like, wait, 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 what's happening? Like, what's, what's going on? Like I'm shifting drastically. I'm like doing all the things I'm like, I feel great. Like what's happening? Like, why is all this other, like really dark, crazy stuff coming up? And it's like, okay, well, if you want to shift to be the person that you're becoming, it's time that you deal with these things. It's time that you face these things. And by facing them, you will become exactly who you're in alignment to become. 
And so I stopped making excuses because it was coming from a place of lack in myself, which fed it every time I listened to the lack, like it fed more lack every time I listened to the lack, which basically looks like, oh, I don't want to do the dishes because I didn't come in the kitchen to do that. I came in the kitchen to cook something and like the dishes are full and I don't want to do them right now. Like I'm just going to act like I ignored them. But when I do that, I'm basically saying, I can't, I can't. And that's creating this like, these like digs into myself and my power and my lack. Like it's making me feel like I'm lacking something. And I know it's small. You wouldn't normally think that when you avoid doing the dishes, you know what I mean? But like, how are you telling yourself that you can't in your life in little ways like that? Because over time, those ways add up. This is how we get stuck and stagnant and feel lost and feel like, you know, low on confidence. So when I started paying attention to that, when I stopped making excuses, because the excuses were basically me saying, oh, I'm not powerful enough, or I, I can't, right? Because I'm not in my power. And then by saying I can't, that feeds me not being in my power and proves to me that I'm not in my power and makes me feel, you know, it just feeds it. It's like a never ending cycles like a loop where you it just keeps feeding itself so i then found the healthy masculine which was the action the doing how to contain my feminine energy how to make sure that there's a balance and a dance between my masculine and feminine between my internal world and my external world basically right and this is how i get comments all the time now and dms all the time tawny i love your energy what are you doing oh my god your energy is bomb oh my gosh how is your energy so in tune with what I need to hear? Like, these are out of this world compliments. These are divine compliments. When someone compliments you on your energy, that's something otherworldly that they're feeling, right? It's something, I mean, it's somewhat otherworldly. It's, it's something that if you can feel, if you can feel other people's energy, then they're in their energy, especially if it feels good right now, sometimes you can feel other people's energy and it doesn't feel good because they're not in their power, but when it feels good and it, you're, you're like magnetized to them, it's because they're in alignment. They're in alignment with their soul. They're in alignment with their energy. So that's how that's happening. So what is feminine energy? Exactly. Feminine energy is the conduit to the soul. She is the unseen. Why is this? It's because she's our inner world. And our body contains our soul. So your feminine energy is the conduit to listening to your soul. When you're in touch with your inner world and you're clean and clear, your soul shines through. It can speak and, and it can speak to you. It can shine through. It can lead the way. But when you're all full of gunk internally or you're disconnected or you're too focused outwardly, you can't listen to it. So we access our soul internally when we are in alignment with our internal world or our feminine, when we are aligned internally, we know our power. We know we are safe. We know we aren't out of balance. We trust, we flow, we are. Things come so much easier. <laughs> Feels so much better. Like, oh my gosh, this is how people are supposed to live. This is why I had to teach this because it's like, holy shit. Like we should be taught this. And then and we used to be taught this, which I'll get into in a minute, but when you're in alignment with your soul, you're in alignment with the universe. You feel it, you know it. You're in your fucking power. You know what to do. You're never stuck or confused or wondering like, no, it comes intuitively. It comes easily. You channel it or you just do it or something comes along and it's like, oh, that's what I need to do. Or, you know, you just, you feel it. Like it, it just comes. The universe is you and reacts to you instead of you reacting to it. When in balance, all the fears, the overwhelm, the excuses all fall away, which allows you to listen and live from your soul. So it starts with your internal world, water and earth, in tune with mother earth, nature, emotion, water and earth are feminine, right? So our emotional worlds, which is our internal world and earth, the body and things that are physical, these are feminine elements. So feminine energy is, she's the embodiment of the soul. She lets the soul do the leading and talking. She leads with her inner knowing, her soul's wisdom, her energy, her magnetism. She attracts things to her effortlessly. Both emotions and material, water and earth, 
are feminine, while air and fire are masculine. Air is the mind, the mental realm, communication, talking, expressing, technology. Fire is the doing, the action, the desire. So to create, it starts with our feminine. We have to be in line internally. A lot of people think they have to go externally first to solve a problem or to create or to do something, but no, you have to start internally. That's where it starts. The balanced masculine does for her, contains her, builds for her. And this is our internal balanced masculine. When we're in tune within, then we can act and do without. And then things flow effortlessly and things work out and things like actually are successful because we are all the way in freaking alignment. So she takes mountains and makes them beautiful sand castles. She can handle anything. So that's feminine energy. So feminine energy unbalanced. <laughs> so the reason we have such a hard time in today's society with feminine energy is because fear, guilt, non-emotion, non like acting like you don't care are honored. Scarcity, insecurity, and lack are pushed. So we go into fear, survival mode, and into the masculine and harden up and try to protect ourselves. And we, a lot of us end up in the shadow of the unbalanced feminine or masculine. There's like an admiration for hustle culture, you know, just continuing to do and like just continuing to work yourself to the bone, which is just very unhealthy, unbalanced masculine. Most feel that they can't afford or achieve what they desire and live paycheck to paycheck, which is also very unbalanced, feminine and masculine, not being in, in connection with our soul. Because if we were, we wouldn't be living like that. We either are doing too much, which is unbalanced masculine and not paying attention to our feminine, or we are frozen and stagnant, which is unbalanced shadow side uh, feminine and not really a balance in our masculine, which none of this is really living at all. You know, <laughs> all of these things dim our feminine energy and presence. We cannot listen to the soul while living like this without having a healthy balance between both the feminine and the masculine. And it starts with the feminine. It starts with the internal world. It starts with aligning with the soul, awakening to the soul, awakening to your feminine energy. So going against boundaries to please is another really unhealthy, feminine, unbalanced kind of energy where we people please, or we don't set boundaries, or we just say yes, when really we want to say no, or we're not sure, you know, staying in fear and not doing anything. It's just because we're scared and we just have all these excuses, staying in the victim. Now there are some times in life where you are the victim, you know, where something did happen to you, where someone imposed their will on you. But it's a choice to stay there. It's up to you if you want to stay there or not. If you want to heal, then you can. And you have to do that. You are responsible for the healing, unfortunately. But thank fuck that you are. <laughs> thank goddess that you are. Because that simultaneously builds self-love and the relationship back with yourself. The healing does of those kinds of things. From my experience and what I've led others to experience as well. So... You can stay in the victim, but that's a choice. And it gives your power away when you stay in that. It disconnects you from your power. So another thing is constantly needing, like need, 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 need from others. Or, you know, we always need something else to be comfortable or to feel okay or to do this or to do that. Overworking, which is more unhealthy or unbalanced masculine, but it comes from us not being in touch with our feminine in survival, you know, like when we're, when so many people are living in survival, living in fear, living in the world that we've created right now, or the world that's been created right now, the culture, the society that we have right now, it comes from a place of, there's so much lack, there's so much fear. And so, so many people are used to living in survival mode, which doesn't give any room to enjoy your life. You're not thinking about aligning with your soul or aligning with your feminine energy or awakening your power within or being in your power or like having the amazing beautiful things in life and finding pleasure and having amazing sex and all the things you're not thinking about that because you're in survival right 
So we're so out of touch with our emotions, our bodies, our minds, our sexual energy, our creative flow, too much going on in our minds constantly, or we're always focused on our external world, not living in pleasure, purpose, beauty, or meaning, you know? Another really big uh, one with the feminine energy imbalance is the mothering wound, which is basically, we all have this to some extent, where we are all always trying to control and change other people, especially masculine energy. We're always nagging and nitpicking and, you know, pick up your clothes and do the laundry and clean your mess up and you do this and you do that and don't, don't act like that towards me and you need to change this, you know, and we become this like nagging mother and it's not hot. It's not attractive. It's not sexy. We don't like it. We don't feel sexy doing it. Right. Like we, and then that comes from once again, us not being aligned internally. Cause if we were comfortable in ourselves, we, and if we were in our power, that wouldn't matter. Those little things wouldn't matter. We wouldn't feel the need to change others so much. So, and another thing when it comes to relationships and relationship to the masculine, either our masculine energy or just men in general, we are not a Disney princess, especially for us women in here. We are not a Disney princess that needs saving. We expect others or outside circumstances to change or be the fix for us to finally be comfortable or to finally move forward with something or to finally do X, Y, Z, like stop. You have to stop waiting on external things and stop trying to find the fix through external things because the answers are within you. You give your power away when you do that, when you start placing too much power outside of you, or you think that outside external things are going to be, you know, are, are, are going to be the, the, the fix. You have to do the work internally. Be the person that takes care of you. Stop waiting for someone else to come in and save the day. Do it yourself. You can do anything in this fucking world when you're aligned internally, but doing anything without being aligned internally usually doesn't work out well. When we're not aligned internally and we're constantly trying to do, 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 do. It's like, everything's just like, because <laughs> we're not aligned in here. So feminine unbalanced continued moving forward without being in your power is like using the conditioner without the shampoo. If you haven't taken a shower in a week and you're trying to wash your hair and you go in with the conditioner and not the shampoo, like how is that helpful? You haven't cleaned it first. You haven't actually cleaned the grease and ickiness off your scalp, all the, all the oils, right? And so, yeah, you're softening it. And that's what we try to do. We try to get to the easier thing. And it's, and we're so conditioned to think like it's somewhere outside of us instead of going inward and doing the work that's going to clean us and make us a clear channel. So our soul can come through. If you're wondering how else am I going to do this? How am I going to get through this? Who better to rock this shit than you <laughs> stop putting it off stop looking for excuses, stop waiting for someone or something else to show up and take the lead, lead yourself, show up for yourself. Thinking you can't is just a thought. And that thought can have as much or as little power as you choose to give it. It's all about you. If you feel off, if you feel stuck, if you don't know what to do, you're not in alignment. You have to go back inside, soften. You're not listening to your inner goddess, your soul. With relationships, it's important to be at a full cup. The relationship should just be adding to you and your life, but you should be full on your own without the relationship. You don't need it to live. If that's the case, that is the feminine shadow and toxic toxicity. Like we should have that power within and it shouldn't be dependent on if, like our power within is not dependent on our relationship basically. So it's important to be at a full cup because then whatever you do have is just overflowing and you're able to give, you're able to receive, you're able to have. As souls, women, men, we need to be able to step into our power. 
if we want, if we truly want to change the world, if we want to create, if we want to build a legacy, if we want to live up to our fullest potential, if we want to create an impact, or even if we just want to live comfortably, maybe we don't want to do all those things. Maybe we just want to be comfortable and enjoy life. You know, that's fucking fine too. Maybe we don't have these like crazy desires and, and want to get out there and, and rock it, you know, and that's fine too. We all have different missions or purposes or, or things that we want to fulfill, but we have to start with ourselves first. We have to go inward first. We have to start with us first. How can you do any of these things? How can you make the impact, live up to your fullest potential, build a legacy, create something, change the world, et cetera. How can you do any of that without first embodying it? without having experienced it, without being in alignment internally. The experience itself to getting there is what molds you, right? But you have to stop with the excuses or you have to stop with the shadow side of the feminine energy. That has to be cleaned out and cleared up first so you can get into your energy. So now we are gonna go over the Power of She challenge and prompts. Um, this is where we will get to part two. These are some really great uh, challenges and uh, prompts for you. If you do them or want to record yourself doing them or want to record your journey, I would love, 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 love for you to do that. Uh, just hashtag power of she challenge. Tag me on my Instagram at Tony Michelle Terology or wherever, Facebook, you know, wherever you're at, wherever you're doing, uh, wherever you want to post your content. Uh, if you're watching this, feel free to take a picture, put it on your Instagram story, tag me, all the things. I would love, love, love to hear your guys' feedback on this. Sorry, I'm just checking your comments really quick. So what does your inner goddess look like? Is she powerful? What does that mean? Does she know how to receive? Does she know how to say no? Does she know her worth? What does she do differently than you do now? That's the big one, right? What does she do differently than you do right now? Another big thing, radical responsibility for your emotions, your decisions, and you. <clears throat> That's another really, really big thing. Do you think your goddess blames everybody else for her problems? Do you think your goddess says, oh, I can't do X, Y, Z because you're not acting right or because my boss is acting like this or because this and this and that. Do you think she does that? I mean, it's an honest question. Another big thing, accountability. If it's always like, like kind of like I just said, if it's always someone else's fault, then you're always giving your power away. Bring it back to you. When you start at a place of lack, it becomes lack. So when you start at a place and, and that goes back into accountability, if, you know, like I said before, this is not for if you were sexually assaulted or something, right? Like, yes, you were the victim in that situation, but they, the person that did it, the perpetrator is not involved in your healing journey. Right. So it is on you to do the internal work and heal, which ends up being a beautiful fucking experience and allows you to get closer to yourself and take your power back. Right. Really, it was never lost in the first place. It was just blocked by the trauma and the wounds. But when you blame other people and you think it's everybody else's fault, it's the world's fault, it's their fault, it's it's everybody else's fault, you're starting at a place of lack because you're saying, I can't do X because of them or because of this, or because of that. You're starting at a place of lack. And when you start at a place of lack, whatever you do ends up having lack. <laughs> it ends up being not good enough, right? Like it ends up not being, because even if, when it is someone else's fault and you finally get the apology, half the time we don't even feel better, right? <laughs> because it was coming from lack and the lack is not healed within us, right? So the next one, if you want X, what do you have to start doing to make that happen? All the things that you do that don't make you feel like a goddess or your higher self, commit to changing them or no longer doing them. So that's another big one. Trusting the callings, the energy in your body to make decisions. You have to jump when it says jump. That's so, so important and definitely part of the goddess, part of the feminine energy. Another big thing that I've really experienced in this energy is upgrading, like I said earlier. What if fear was an indication of being on the right path? How would your choices shift, right? Fear means that you're about to upgrade massively. 
And so when we can stop allowing fear to hold us back, which is also kind of dealt with in, in the goddess department, because when we're scared and we don't know how to emotionally handle fear, we freeze or we run away or we avoid or we procrastinate, right? Or we go into fight mode, right? And so it's like, we have to figure out a way, like, we, well, not figure out a way, there is a way, there are a lot of ways to deal with fear, but we have to start when we're more in touch internally, when we're more in touch with our inner feminine, it's like a lot of those fears we look at as like the next upgrade. They don't scare us like they used to. We're willing to walk through them because we're in our power and we know how powerful we are. And so we're not like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm scared to confront my boss or I'm scared to quit my job. Or it's like, no, I know my power and I trust my energy. I trust my intuition. I trust what my soul is telling me to do. And so this is what's going to happen. So <clears throat> the goddess is the woman that's in full embodiment of her healthy, feminine, and masculine. So when we are in our power, in the goddess, everything is possible. We know our power. There's no question about it. <laughs> we magnetize and attract our desires to us. We don't have to like be in this constant hustle energy, right? Which really isn't good for us and takes us out of our feminine. We are in touch with our inner muse. The universe is ours. We can co-create with the universe, which is like a real fucking thing. Like the universe comes through you, like create this, create that, do this, do that. And you feel it. And the universe is giving you all these signs. As soon as you get that, you look up 11, 11. Oh shit. As soon as you get that, you look up, there's a butterfly right out your window. And that's like your, your thing, you know, like you see butterflies all the time, like shit like this, <laughs> or you get that calling and someone walks into the room and says something that's exactly what has to do with the calling. And you're like, oh my God, it's divine. It's supposed to happen, right? Like there's so many things like that, that you just know deep down are not coincidences. Like you just know, and you're like, oh my fucking God, I cannot believe this is happening. So when we are in our power and in the goddess, we live a life that turns us on. <laughs> like everything becomes orgasmic everything becomes pleasurable like so much more pleasurable we're in touch with our purpose our inner muse like life becomes blissful meaningful everything changes who we are changes what we need and desire changes our fears melt away our relationships get significantly better because we know how to be in a relationship and then once we know how to be in a relationship and we are in alignment and we are in balance and if other people around us are not and continue to not be, when we know our boundaries and when we know ourselves and we're, when we're comfortable with ourselves, we can easily spot others that are not on that level. And it doesn't mean that they're less than us. It doesn't mean anything like that. Like they're just not there yet. They're at a different time in their lives. We've all been there, you know, but we can spot it easier and we're not going to allow it. And so Yes, sometimes when you level up and when you really get aligned and when you really tap into this energy, you may start noticing that the people around you or some of the people in your life before are no longer really in alignment with you. They're no longer really a match to your energy and they can't, they can't be with your energy. They can't support your energy because your energy is too much for them. When you're in your power and someone is not in their power, you recognize it. And you see where they, especially if they're like really not in their power and they're trying to deflect or blame or, you know, put their shit on you and you're in your power, that's no longer going to be even attractive to you. You're not even going to want anything to do with that. It's going to be like, fuck no, like major turn off, <laughs> major, major turn off, you know? Um, and it's not going to be, it, you're not going to be a match to it anymore. And so some things may fall away, but what I've also experienced, and this is what's amazing is that when you level up, when you get into your power, when you're in alignment, you invite just by being you, not by saying or doing anything, just by being you and being in that energy, it magnetizes, like I said, and other people around you get the invite to step into their full potential, to step into their power without you even having to say anything. 
It's not like you need to go up to them and say, hey, can you please get in your power? Like, no, like a lot of people being around you, they, they'll just want to be around you. You know, they, they just, they will love your energy and they'll be like, oh my gosh, like, how did you do this? And how did you do that? And being around you inspires me. And I love who I am when I'm around you. And I feel like things are possible around you because you're doing all of these things and you're inspirational and like all of these different things. And so you end up like simultaneously without even trying to inviting others to step into their power, but that may not happen all the time because others, some others will not be ready. And so eventually it will get to a point where your energy just is not a match anymore at this time. And so sometimes that can mean that certain connections and relationships fall away. So the job gets better because we are in alignment. We're in our power. We know if this job is in alignment with us or not. We know if this is what we want to do or not. And we get permission when we're in our power. We're like, damn. So since I can do all these things and since I'm this powerful, then what's holding me back? And then the calling happens and it's like, oh, I'm supposed to do this. Oh, I'm supposed to do that. Oh, I'm supposed to apply for this. I'm supposed to learn this. I'm supposed to work for myself, whatever the case may be. And so that upgrades, that gets better, that expands. We know we have power and we are tapped into our unique magic, our own unique magic, being ourselves. So we open, receive, listen, soften, feel love. We are in pleasure. We are embodied. We are, uh, we magnetize. We are a force. We play, we desire, we create, we channel, we know, we act, we are balanced. So now I want to invite you guys to do a quick exercise with me that will help to really integrate some of this and bring this into your own current life, your own current situation. So I want you to close your eyes again. And again, sit up straight, soften, just kind of sink into your body. Take some very deep breaths all the way down to your stomach, all the way down to your lower abdomen, all the way down to your tailbone. And as you are doing this, just continuing to breathe, breathe deeply, I want you to feel your body. How does it feel? How does it feel to be in your body right now? Feel your energy again. Soften, sink further and further into your body. Just keep breathing deeply, breathe deeply a few more times. Okay, I want you, keeping your eyes closed, to imagine and feel all of your fears right now. What's holding you back? All of the things that you wish were different in your life, whether it be your boyfriend or a significant other, you know, wishing that they would treat you differently or act differently, get their shit together. <laughs> you wish your kids would listen. You wish you had more money or that your boss would see your worth. You wish you could have the job of your dreams. You wish you could have more purpose or meaning in your life. You wish you had more clients, more love, to finally start that business, to feel more in alignment with yourself, or for this or that to change, whatever it is. So you could finally just be be who? Who would you be? Imagine you were already that person, the person you would be if you could just have those things. Those things were just not in your way. If you were already that person right now, What would that look like? I want you to bring your fears back up 
and the things that are in your way back up and really envision them, imagine them. What if you were the one to face those fears and make the dreams come true, to make the things happen, to go after your desires? Why are you waiting? All of the stuff about, oh, I need this to change or that to change, those are all excuses to not step into who you really fucking are. Because you think that you're not. You think you're not the one. Because you're not being true to who you really are. You're not being in your power. You're not being the person that has the power to do all of those things and that can handle all of those fears. But here's a secret, you are, you are the person, you are already the one. I want you to truly envision the highest version of yourself, the one that can handle all of these different things. Feel it in your core, in your soul. Do you think he or she waits around for other people or things to shift to be in their power and do badass things? No, she already is badass. She already is in her power. She can handle it. So who are you being right now? The person that can't? or the person that can. If you're being the person that can't, that's your problem. So that's all for that little exercise. <clears throat> Hopefully that was helpful or, or showed you some things or helped you to really see that you can. So Moving on to the next one. So as I said, the goddess is when we are in full embodiment of our masculine and our feminine. When the goddess is the, when the goddess is aligned, the masculine comes in and is like, okay, great. Like, let's do this. You know, like I got you. And that's when things happen. Your inner masculine comes out and that's when you, you do, when you take action on the callings, the things that are happening inside of you, the, the alignments, the, the intuition, the, the you know, whispers from your soul, like you actually do with that energy. And because you create with that energy, anything that you create becomes magnetic as fuck because you're in this energy, like this wild goddess, blissful, erotic energy that people just are drawn to that just pulls people in. So she holds the universe inside of her and the universe moves for her. Your goddess doesn't want, she desires and claims. Are you ready to claim? You are the universe. When you work on awakening to that first and being the universe and in your power, everything else changes. And now we are getting to my program. <laughs> I'm like just so freaking excited. Okay, so my next program, and we're gonna answer questions here in a few minutes, so just bear with me. My next program is Goddess Mode. That is the title of it. And it is all about awakening the goddess frequency within you. So everything that we just talked about, I'm leading you through it. I'm giving you all the deets. I'm giving you all the tools. I'm giving you all the things to actually awaken the goddess within you, but not just that, stay in that energy, right? Because of, like that's kind of what I found. Like awakening it was one thing and that was amazing, but like staying in goddess mode was like, really fucking difficult, right? Like someone would piss me off and there I fucking go, man, right? And like, or something would happen or I would feel off and then boom, right out of it and not feeling aligned and not feeling like my soul is speaking to me, not feeling like I'm blissed out, not feeling like, oh my gosh, I can handle this. Like all the things just go right back down. And so it's so much to awaken, like that's, it's amazing. But when you want to stay in that energy and you're like, 
okay, like I need to stay in this energy. How can I recalibrate? How can I, you know, redo something? How can I use these tools to go back in, right? And be in the flow. And that's what this program is about. It's called Goddess Mode. And these are some of the things about it. So Goddess Mode is awakening the goddess frequency, living a life that turns you on uh, and is orgasmic as fuck. So it's basically an initiation into your inner goddess. Uh, the goddess is the wise, feminine, intuitive, and divine part of you hidden under years of societal conditioning, trauma, and beliefs that repress her. But she is there. She is waiting for you to embody her so you can receive and flow effortlessly, like the flow state. I always talk about that. That's being in goddess mode, the flow state. Everything flows effortlessly. You don't have to, you're not hung up on what to do, where to go, who to ask, what, like it, that, no, like you're just fucking flowing, right? It's like you're in the flow and it feels good. And it's like, you're, you're getting these intuitive hits. Everything's very intuitive and you're, you're just flowing, man. You're not like so hung up on everything. You don't get so off track as easy, you know? So uh, it's getting in the flow effortlessly so you can have healthy relationships, so you can create from pure desire and bliss, so you can be in alignment with your erotic sexuality, with your inner wisdom, your magnetism, your emotions, your pleasure, and co-create with the universe. We were not taught this in school by our peers or our society, but the wisdom, this wisdom, used to be known in ancient cultures. There used to be initiations, like actual initiations for women, men, you know, to step into their power, right? And we don't have that anymore. So a lot of the times we become an adult and we don't know what the fuck we're doing. I will say though, before I forget, so goddess mode in particular is for women because we are gonna be working through some sensitive topics at times and doing some, we're gonna be doing a lot of embodiment practices, ceremonies, rituals, pleasure rituals. We're gonna be embracing a lot of sexuality and getting really into those types of things. And if, uh, so that's why I say it's for women because women, joining will feel more comfortable, you know, if it's for women doing those things. So our dreams and visions happen when we are an internal match to them, when we feel them and know them before we can see them. To get to what we want means being internally aligned first. So this way of life is one of power, attracting, magnetizing what you desire, uh, creative orgasmic bliss, wisdom, coming home to your truest and raw self and awakening her, unleashing her, embracing her, liberating her and embodying her. You unlock your full potential and your capacity to hold so much more. And I'll be celebrating each and every one of you every step of your journey. So we're gonna have a group where we're very, we're very tight and we are sharing every aspect of our journey with each other. If you are ready to commit to this journey and an awakening of a lifetime, it's been literally the most crazy fucking awakening I think I've had yet. And if you've been with me a while, then you know that I've had really crazy awakenings. So this is, this is definitely saying something. So in goddess mode, you will uh, learn all of these things. I'm not going to read off all of them. You can, if you want, um, I'm just going to read off some of them. So how to align to your own goddess frequency, goddess initiation, uh, awakening your inner goddess and feminine, awakening the different parts of your inner goddess, how to embrace the different feminine archetypes, guided embodiment ceremonies, how to heal and embrace your inner feminine, how to activate your intuition, ceremonies and rituals to awaken your energy and much more, how to receive and be magnetic and attracting your desires, unraveling energy and wounds to heal, how to magnetize your desires and receive, how to listen to your soul's voice, balancing the masculine and feminine, uh, womb healing, how to balance the masculine with your feminine. I already said that. I somehow that got on there twice, sorry. Uh, yeah, healing generational trauma, radically re radical responsibility for yourself, your life, and your emotions, and much more. So all of these things, plus more, um, there's honestly a lot, Can't couldn't fit on uh, all of it on here. So so yeah, so that is my next program. Let me turn this off really quick. And I'm gonna show you really quick before we do the questions, <clears throat> how to get to it. 
So this program is on early bird pricing. For those in this masterclass, it will not be here long. I will be announcing it publicly in 48 hours. So in two days, I will be announcing it publicly to everybody, not just those of you inside this masterclass. So we have 48, it may be, I, I may do 72, may do 72 hours. So 48 to 72 hours, the price will be changing. But the early bird pricing, and we, I do have payment plans too, it's very fucking cheap for how much we are going into, and it's going to be a three-month sacred container. So the early bird pricing is 333 <laughs> And yeah, and then there are uh, there is a payment plan where you can split that up into three payments monthly for the three months that we are in the course. So this is for those of you that are committed, like that are really ready to fucking shift, like real deal, no bullshit, like that are really committed to doing this program, that are committed to awakening to who you really fucking are and what you really want to do with your life. You know what I mean? Like if you're set, if you're done playing small, if you really want to come into balance with yourself, your internal world, your external world, like get into a place of unshakable fucking confidence, then this is for you. So on my website, tanymichelleterology.com, it's under programs. And uh, this is the main page. We will be meeting uh, through Zoom and then we will have the Facebook group. I definitely recommend if you want to sign up for this to add me in the Facebook group. You will get an email when you sign up. Make sure that you check your email um, if you do sign up because you'll get an email when you sign up full of tons of information, your next steps, what you need to know. The program starts April 30th at 6 p.m., but the price will be increasing in a few days. So um, just because I wanted to give an early bird special for this masterclass for those of you who came to the masterclass and are interested and, and really want to know more about this. So like I said, there's a payment plan. If you want to pay monthly, it's really not that much <laughs> considering everything that we're going to be going into and everything that is involved and just like, you know, every, just everything. So Anyway, so yeah, the, the meetings will take place on Zoom and then we will have the private Facebook group where I will be posting a lot of other stuff. So I do suggest like, it's basically a must to add the private Facebook group. So that way we can all keep up. You can keep up easily. We can share things easily. Uh, and there may be more things that I post in the Facebook group that you won't see if you're not in there. So to get the full extent of the course, like you would definitely need to be a part of the Facebook group. I'm not a big fan of Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, like I fucking get it. But for this course, <laughs> for this program, at least for three months, like, it, like, just stick it out. Okay. So anyway, so that is everything uh, for this program. And uh, let's go ahead and get to questions. So does anyone have questions? Let me look at, oh, actually, let me share the link to the program in the chat really quick. How can I like pin that? Is there like a way to pin that? I thought there was. Okay, so. Um, I'll resend you the link, Ada. I'll check that and make sure that the link's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so the day of the week, I'm looking at likely Sunday, we're gonna have two lives a week. There's gonna be one live teaching and one live ceremony. And so there's, it's gonna be like two, basically we're gonna meet twice a week. And so what I'm looking at is like Sunday evenings and then Tuesday evenings. And my time zone is Eastern daylight time. So will this course be offered again in the future? Oh, I'm so sorry, Chantel. That is so shitty. Um, I'm not sure if it will be, if it will be offered in the future. I'm not 100% sure yet. So no, you will not need any materials before starting the course. Everything, all the next steps will be in the email that you'll get. And I give you everything right there. There's a welcome reporting. There is the link to the Facebook group. You also get the Cosmic Awakening Portal that I did 
uh, last month in March. You get free access to that, whether you signed up or not. Um, and I, I'm also going to be filming another video for those that are uh, signing up. Like a, a it's going to be like a video of a method to basically start doing before we start the course. Um, that will really help too. So, and that'll go out probably this week. So, so the first class of it will be April 30th, which will be a Saturday and it's the solar eclipse in Taurus. Um, so the first class will be a Saturday and then we'll skip that Sunday and then do Tuesday. And then after that, it'll be Sunday and Tuesday likely is what we're looking at right now. So yes, we already have nine of you guys in there, which is absolutely fucking amazing. So I'm so excited. You're welcome, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm glad you guys like the logo. Sorry, I'm just now seeing that. Anaya, did you have a question? Yeah, so I'm so excited. You already know this, but April 30th, I'll literally be on the airplane. Yeah. I'll be on the plane, so I can't attend the first class, but it's going to be recorded, right? Yes, yes. All the classes will be recorded. Um, usually I'm pretty good about that. I know today is not <laughs> a great example, but I know a lot of you guys that are with me on Patreon or have taken past courses with me, like usually I'm pretty good about remembering to record. So that was very mind blowing to me that I forgot um, to record halfway through. So, but I will send out the Patreon or not the Patreon, the PowerPoint for this master class. I'm getting my words all confused for this masterclass uh, with the recording. So you can, so those that didn't get to attend live can watch the first, or can see the first few slides that we went over where we talk about feminine energy and what it is and why it's important. So, oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I hope, I do not want to butcher your name, Evangeline, Evangeline, I hope I'm saying that right. I am so excited. Evangeline. To Evangeline, that is so different. I love that. Yes, I am so excited to have you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so, okay, so the calls will be on Zoom. It'll basically all be on Zoom. The Facebook group is just for, just to answer your question, Taylor, the Facebook group is just for those that, like for us to all connect. But we, I may put some content on there as well. Like right now, even in the Facebook group, I have the Cosmic Awakening Portal links. I have the welcoming links, which you do get those in the welcome email too. So um, so yeah, even if you just use Facebook just for this group, just for the three months, like I would definitely suggest it because that's where I'll be posting reminders, you know, um, posting any, any changes or extra stuff where we're all gonna be communicating and sharing our journey with each other. Um, and so that's, it's really important, so. The price is still 333 uh, in you just, there's a payment plan. So you don't have to pay the 333 all at once. You can pay it in three months. So, and that would make it 111 a month. And then that way it would be paid off. And if you absolutely positively like would like a different payment plan, let's say you would like to pay off quicker. You'd like to just split it in half, or let's say that, you know, you would like to split it up in bi-weekly payments or something like that. Like if you absolutely have to, I can try, I can't promise anything, but I can try to work with those that need a little bit of extra time to pay it off basically. Like it'll still be this, it'll still be the 333, but we can split it up in ways that may work a little bit easier for you. But the price will be going up uh, likely Friday or like Friday evening because I'm going to wait, like, I'm not going to announce this at all to the public, to Instagram, anything. It's just this masterclass. That's it. And then once I announce it, once the branding goes out to everybody and everybody can see it, um, that's when the price will increase and it'll probably go to 444. And then as we get closer, it'll just keep going. So, <clears throat> okay. So I will fix that right now while we're here because I do not want any issues. So for those of you that didn't get the Facebook link or couldn't access it through the email, email me and let me know and I will 
send you the Facebook group really quickly. I'm not sure what's been going on with this <laughs> with this email. Um, okay, invite link. So was it copied or what? Oh, that's why I keep saying it's expired in two days. That's weird. Well, I do have the group on private, so that may be why. Um, okay, so yeah, if you didn't get, the, if the Facebook link is not working for your email, let me know ASAP. Just send me an email and I'll send you the invite link or message me on my Facebook even, and I can just invite you to the group from there too. So let me see the Facebook group. I'm changing it right now, really quickly. Oh, why is it doing that? Okay, I'll have to do it when I get off of here because it's not, it's being kind of weird. Okay, so if you don't get the, if you sign up right now and you don't get the invite link, just I'll email it to you. I'll have your email in there anyway. So, um, alrighty, that is fine. See you later. Thank you for joining. Yes, I think you definitely would get the same experience watching the recordings. Um, like I said, it's not about what you do. It's about the energy that you're in when you do it. So when you, uh, the energy of this course, of this program is already very fucking magnetic, like people just signing up or already having experiences. And so this, this program is fucking powerful because I can feel it. And I've already seen the effects that it's having on other people just signing up. And so that's why like, it's, it doesn't matter if you're with us in live time, like, yes, that can be at times more, a little more energetic, uh, but I think that everything will still have the same exact energy, like the cosmic awakening portal I did last month, those that got the replay said that it was still just as powerful. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's all about the energy and that energy like stays with things, you know, it doesn't just like, <laughs> yeah. So um, does anybody else have any questions before we get off of here? <laughs> I know that was amazing, Robin. Thank you, Natalie. Yes, it's amazing. It's been such an honor watching so many people transform. Like it's, and, and that's what I'm really excited about it too. Like it, it, it's going to be very fucking powerful and to see the transformations, it's just gonna be magic. Like that, that is what I am seriously fucking passionate about like that is my calling is to help people shift <laughs> and so that is exactly what this program is for so thank you guys so so much thank you Taylor I appreciate that I am definitely looking forward to it too. If you do have any other questions, just reach out to me through email or through my website, tawnymichelletarology.com. Uh, my email is tawnymichelleyt uh, for YouTube at gmail.com. So if you, or you can just reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. If you have any other questions, let me know. Like I said, um, I will make it official right now that the pre-party pricing of 333 will not end until Friday. So I will announce the course Friday evening, um, right around the Libra full moon. <laughs>
So I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Hopefully this uh, masterclass was helpful. I feel so bad that I forgot to record the first half of it. Uh, so I do apologize for those that didn't make it. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this last part though. And uh, yeah, I love you guys and have a amazing rest of your night and do the damn thing because you are a goddess and a badass and you have a lot more fucking power than you think you do. So stop playing small, stop waiting, stop making excuses, like own your fucking power and get the damn thing done. And I promise you will not regret it. So I love you guys. Have a good night. Bye.